Okay, the last thing I want to look at is, is what's referred to as the Gilded Age. Right? That's where a lot of people in the United States are not going to share in this prosperity. It's going to be left to a, a, a select few of the population. The three groups of people that did not prosper are minorities, minorities, factory workers, and people in the South. Right? The South is still heavily agricultural. Right? They don't share in that prosperity. Right? But here's the thing. This period is referred to as the Gilded Age. Now, gilded simply means to cover with a thin layer of gold. So here's my example. This is the source of all my power in class. It is my golden bar, my bar of solid gold. Now, how do we know it's a bar of solid gold? Well, one, I told you it's a bar of solid gold. Two, it looks like a bar of solid gold. And three, it says gold on it. So we have to assume that this is a solid bar of gold. Now, when we look at it, right, it looks like gold. But according to Beauty and the Beast, looks can be deceiving. If I remove the thin layer of gold, okay, I'm left with an empty cardboard chalk box that's starting to rip. Nothing of value. But when you look at it on the surface, it looks incredibly valuable. The same idea with the United States at the time. Okay. Here's the United States. Okay, it looks like a Loch Ness Monster, but it's the United States. When people look at it, all they see is John G. Rockefellers and uh, Andrew Carnegie's. They don't see the millions of people living in cities that are struggling to find jobs or struggling to find food or living in cramped tenement apartment buildings. Everybody thinks the United States is a prosperous fairy tale land where everybody is wealthy, extremely wealthy. Right? And then the last part, once again, most of the industrial growth in the United States takes place in the North. Right? The South is still heavily agricultural, and the West is still developing with the railroad, the problems with Native Americans, and the gold rush.